This is Stag 6. Stag 6 is a 6th iteration car designed by the Southampton University Formula Student Team. It performed 10th overall in Formula Student Czech Republic in 2019. It was Southampton's best ever result. Due to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, the team was once more running this car for the Formula Student season this year. Formula Student is an engineering competition in which hundreds of teams of students design, test and race a single-seated open-wheeled race car. For this individual project, I propose that the Stag 6 car could be improved by a better optimised front wing. The front wing is the first part of a race car that meets oncoming flow and its weight dictates the performance of the entire car. A poorly optimised front wing results in performance left on the table. This is also the case for Stag 6 and is the basis for my project. The purpose of the front wing is to guide flow around the front wheels. This design philosophy can result in extremely intricate designs, often seen in Formula 1 cars. The distribution of downforce, or the aerodynamic balance, crucially affects the handling characteristics of the car. Too little downforce in the front results in understeer due to a lack of grip. Too much downforce results in rear wheel slip and the car oversteering. This is what Stag 6 experiences, due to its aerodynamic centre being 68% biased to the front axle. Ideally, this should be close to the centre of gravity, which in Stag 6's case is approximately 60%. For the project, the Formula student team provided two working simulation files to use the design tool. We've got a straight line domain and a skid pad domain. The tools provided were validated using the Stag 5 car. To ensure they'd be valid for Stag 6, the files were both checked for mesh independency and domain independency. To summarise the results, in a straight line the simulation was mesh independent after 55 million cells and domain independent after a blockage ratio of less than 1.56%. In a skid pad condition, the simulation was independent after 101 million cells and a blockage ratio of less than 1.56% again. This project focuses solely on the front wing and therefore much of the resolution of the mesh behind the front axle could be lost. This was done in an iterative process and the surface mesh was reduced from 55 million cells to 18 million in a straight line, reducing computational time from 12 hours to 3 hours. This is a sketch of the front view, the side view and the top view of the car. The idea behind the design is to create three distinct flow geometries that would assist fitting my aims. The purpose of the red streamlines is to promote outwash around the front wheels. The blue streamlines depict flow design to minimise tyre squirt losses. The green streamlines depict the flow condition between the centre line and the edge of the chassis. Before design could begin, bounding boxes were created to ensure strict adherence to the rules. We can immediately see that the Stag 6 front wing doesn't completely utilise the space available, therefore missing out on potential aerodynamic gains. The design plan is split up into four operations. Exploration of ideas and trying things out. Enhancement of ideas and building on exploration. Refinement of designs and appropriation of the final design for the use case. To correctly assess performance enhancements, a baseline wing was created on which one could test ideas without receiving interference from other parts of the wing. The exploration phase splits the wing up into main plane variations, of which there were 13, and end plate variations, of which there were 10. There were five tests of combination of the best designs from each. Both final designs from this phase feature a foot plate on the end plate, which delays the spill of low velocity air to the underside of the wings, as well as a curved end plate to promote outwash. For the main plane, both feature swept vortex generating elements to try and clean up the turbulence generated by the suspension. For wing P1.1, the elements loft upwards at the end plate to try and further control the foot plate vortex spill to the underside. And for wing P1.2, the elements spill over 90 degrees to promote outwash of the flow around the front wheels. The enhancement phase was split up into three sections, testing lower surface strakes, upper surface winglets and end plate variations. The final wing from this phase is based on P1.1. It features a single underside strake which dramatically delayed the bursting of the low velocity region on the underside of the elements. It features a winglet element to promote outwash and increase overall frontal load and canards that mimic the main plane. 
these canards introduce a low pressure region outboard of the end plate, which reduces the pressure differential and delays the foot plate vortex entering. For the refinement phase, small variations were tested. The first was a comparison between the airfoil profiles GOE433 and the S1223. The S1223 provided significantly better performance as it delayed separation between the multi elements. The final wing from this phase looks remarkably similar to the wing that culminated in the enhancement phase, with only minor differences. There are now two winglets, an updated canard geometry, and fillets have been introduced to reduce interference drag. The last part of the design process is to appropriate the design for testing, which means implementing mechanical mounts to allow it to be mounted to the wind tunnel model. The final wing from this project provided a 42% increase in downforce at a cost of a 13% increase in drag, resulting in a 26% increase in overall aerodynamic efficiency. Furthermore, the aerodynamic balance was brought rearward from 68% to 60% to within the target range. This in a skid pad domain is a 29% increase in downforce and a 14% increase in overall aerodynamic efficiency. All the results are presented in this table. The aim set out were to increase the aerodynamic load produced by each of the downstream components. This appears to be the case as denoted by the results in the table. This project, however, does have limitations. It was done on an older CFD model and therefore there is uncertainty in the output values. The effects of pitch, roll and yaw were not considered, which would vary in real life. I could have tested on a large radius corner simulation to provide a better insight of the flow. And using more post-processing such as streamline plots or line integral convolution plots would give a better understanding of the flow field. Whereas the only plots I used for this project were CPT plots, CP plots, vorticity and velocity plots. However, despite these limitations, this project serves as proof of concept that the design does work. With the effort of the entire team and doing further tests, I would be happy to recommend this design for use on the car. I'd like to thank Professor Ralph Dieter Ding, Lee Sean Theodore, and the Southampton University Formula student team, without whom all this project would not have been possible.